Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about social engineering. I got this on various sources. Please check the description to know more, there are many interesting topics there, and not all of them can be covered here. I know that my video quality is far from good, but I hope the content is understandable. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of a the story to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a Telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Ever pay attention to trends in the media? Some stories and narratives rise and fall in cycles, along with your awareness of them. It's kind of like a shell game, where the street hustler directs your attention to one shell as a distraction, while he shuffles aside the nut with the goods in it. And now you see it, now you don't, kind of thing. When you see the same story arise frequently in the mainstream media, you can bet that it's something you're supposed to be looking at. You see, the major corporate media operates from talking points and top-down directives. A mere six corporations own some 90% of all the major media outlets, and as corporations do, they rule by memos from up high. The night show host Conan O'Brien knows this, and he rips on the media for the insane homogenization of local news. He does this bit where his team edits together actual footage of local newscasters from around the country, saying the exact same thing, word for word, but each anchor person personalizes it with their own inflection, pausing, intonation and so on. It's hilarious, but at the same time disturbing, because it shockingly demonstrates how ideas are forced into the mainstream of today's corporate culture. The point is, when you see a story being played over and again on various news outlets, you have good reason to believe that the information isn't coming to you organically. It's not something you really need to know, or something that is genuinely relevant to day-to-day -day life in your community. It's the execution of an agenda. The information is being deliberately disseminated to manufacture awareness and recalibrate the standard for normal. It's something the corporate media wants you to focus on like in the shell game. When you understand this fundamental of corporate media, the landscape of information today looks totally different. You're able to see narratives unfold and evolve, and able to recognize when your attention is deliberately being drawn towards an issue. Or away from an issue. Among the regular flow of info, certain topics or subjects are thrust into public consciousness with regularity. The issues are never quite framed as critically important, but rather positioned as matter of fact, sign of the times. Opposing arguments or viewpoints are never fully explored. Frame it in such a way that it seems exciting and cutting edge. Normalize it by mixing it in with everyday things and repeating it. Make it seem like the future is here now and that there is a bandwagon you need to get in on order to be part of the gang. This method works. It's called conditioning. An idea as reprehensible as exchanging human-on-human -human love for sex with elaborate robots would have been shocking and totally unacceptable a few generations ago. But, slowly raise awareness of the wonders of this new technology over time, and people become curious rather than repulsed. It becomes normalized. There really is nothing you can do about living in such a changing world, except opt out of the insanity, stupidity, and self-destructive tendencies being framed as wholesome cultural advances. To make good decisions in this regard, it's imperative to be able to process information in a way that acknowledges the true nature of corporate or government propaganda. Social engineering is real. It's happening all around you. 
Are you paying attention? Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. We are moving into significant times, and I feel it will be critical how we come to understand and perceive what is to come. How we frame the external happenings that continue to erupt across the world, will decide how we respond and cope with the effects. The more I observe external events unfolding, the more I perceive predictive programming at work. When we read or hear something in the mainstream media, we should understand that there is an intention to tell us how things are, according to a set narrative. Mainstream narratives are programs, psychological manipulations, and often outright lies. We are given these narratives to program our beliefs. Our beliefs then create our perceptions, and our perceptions create our experiences. Ultimately, we experience the world according to the narratives that we are given. This creates a loop, and many people remain in this perception loop. In the coming days, weeks, and months, these loops are going to contain increasing dissonance, unease, and discomfort. We need to step away from them. We have to disentangle ourselves from the external programs and manufactured narratives. It is essential we step out of the lower frequencies of unrest and instability, and find our inner grounding. We can do better than this. I feel that the times ahead are going to be increasingly chaotic, and it is important that we do not get caught up in these disruptive energies. Everything external to us is calling for our attention, and dragging our attention outwards and away from ourselves. And this not only makes us more attached to external events and occurrences, but also weakens our inner balance. Now is the time to be grounded and stable. And to see clearly that what are operating in the physical realm right now are only shadows. They are the shadows of an older world, an older regime of power that is struggling with its last desperate breaths as a new revolution of understanding emerges. It is our time to acknowledge these struggles without engaging with them, for they shall also allow us to gain our sovereignty, inner freedom, and comprehension of the bigger picture. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.